lovely form and quite an aesthetic piece when held in hand not at all photogenic and I'll tell you why because uh, what I'm going to do I'm gonna put you through the crystal faces so there we have the one face there we have the other face, another face. So the color coloration is a very mild amethyst going into a mild gray, almost predominantly white section. Very nicely perched on this matrix, which would most likely be some calcium carbonate on the matrix, the white material. Uh, if this were from the Ronga, I'd call it mountain beard. Now, I think there is a little bit of contacting in this section, but I can't, I can't actually figure it out. I need to look under magnification. So you could ask me about this if you're unsure. Actually, I think it may just be some self-healing that's just taking place there. Looks more like self-healing. From a display point of view, sidewise almost, uh, well, it's a little bit bigger than a, than a palm size, so almost a hand size. Have a look at the side formation of that guy, going across like that. A little bit of red, reddishness inside it as well. You have grey, which would be little specular hematite included in there, which turning into red, which would be the the uh, uh, hematite losing some of its oxygen or having lost some before the silica flow came over, turning it into ferruginous hematoid hematite included quartz or maybe in the red case, more girthite. All the way from, uh, I think the closest uh, deposit on the Orange River to this may be Springbok and surrounds.